Major fire or flood, Norwich Union Direct will temporarily rehouse you and even your pets. And if you join us, we guarantee to beat your buildings and contents renewal premium or give you £60 cash back. Contact us and see how we can make you happy. There was a monster! It chased us! I played Matelli. Time to look behind you. Time to run. Time to scream. Ow! Time for adventure. Prime Evil, the new series continues tonight at 7.20, ITV1. Jerry Springer, Linda Lusardi and Lamar all drop in for a drink with the pub landlord tonight. Al Murray's happy hour is at 9.50. Right now, though, it's Harry taking care of things. Welcome to TV Burp. We finally find out what Betty from Emmerdale smells like. Is it the ciggy smoke or the putrid stench of stale beer? <laughs> Feet crying on casualty. Can I have another litre, please? <laughs> and being a long way from a loo, Reg off the bill is forced to use his helmet. Well, time waits for no <laughs> Dirty boy! Wags Boutique now on ITV. Wags, short for wives and girlfriends, for this is a selection of ladies who are intimate with professional footballers. Yes, and there are some top-level players involved with all the fancy gear that comes with it. 70k Range Rover, very nice. <laughs> 80k Bentley, very nice. He's got his wedding vows on his back. How does he read them out? <laughs> Do you, Steve Sidwell, take Christelle to be your lawful wedded wife? I, uh, I, <laughs> I myself have the TV listings tattooed all over my body. And sadly, was only able to find out what time Wag's boutique was on by using a mirror on a stick. <laughs> This week saw the launch of the two rival WAG boutiques. One's called Better Half, because they're the wives and girlfriends, very clever, and the other's called Bows. <laughs> the first week, they got a whole load of bow-legged people turning up, thinking, <laughs> thinking it was a specialist shop. <laughs> yes, Camilla Parker Bowles was most disappointed. <laughs> and a whole coach load of people from the Rickett Society of Great Britain <laughs> Yeah, and it took them ages to get off the coach, obviously, with those... <laughs> ..with those legs. But I digress. It was the week of the launch, and the search was on to get some top A-list celebs to attend the shop openings. I should do the celebrity list, you know. Try and get as many celebrities as we can. Try A-list celebrities. Yeah, try A-list celebs, yeah. Well, the wags are pretty well connected. Perhaps they can pull a few favours. Perfect. I do Jules Oliver. Do you know can you get Jules Oliver? I know her, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? And I tried um, Trini and Susanna. She's out of the country. Oh, is she the well-known <laughs> celebrity, Trini Ann Suzanne? <laughs> She's out of the country, apparently. <laughs> and don't bother trying the sugar bays because she is washing her hair. <laughs> so which of the A-listers do turn up, then? For Bose? And we've got Lalani, we've got... Um, who else? That's about it, really. <laughs> Leilani? That's, that's a type of conifer, isn't it? <laughs> What about the better half? Well, they had one top celebrity from Little Britain. I'm quite surprised, really. Marjorie Dawes <laughs> off Fat Fighters. <laughs> but hasn't Billy Idol let himself go, though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he wasn't the only star from the world of rock and pop to pitch up on Coronation Street. They all looked a little worse for wear after the Brits. Paul McCartney liked it so much, he stayed the night. Papers? <laughs> I 
think that rhyming slang is solely the province of the Cockney. Not so. We were treated to a little northern rhyming slang this week from Rita on Coronation Street. Just let me get these down, me Norris. <laughs> Just get these down me Norris. <laughs> that's rhyming slang, right? Get these down me Norris, that's Norris McWhirter, squirter. Squirty flower, shower. Shower and sink, mink, mink coat, throat. <laughs> that's how it works. It was little Amy Barlow's birthday this week, and she's been through a lot recently. What with her mum in prison for murder. So Tracy and the other Barlows organised a party to cheer her up. So, who's on the guest list? Anyway, thanks for letting us know, Eliza. I don't believe this. Eliza Brennan, Helen has got a toothache and cannot come to Amy's party. Yeah, right. Oh, dear. <laughs> Helen are not coming. What about Patrick Booth and Georgie Leather? Patrick Booth's got a stomach upset <laughs> and Georgie Leather's been vomiting all night. <laughs> <laughs> that just leaves Lucy Reed. Well, Lucy Reed's still coming. <laughs> Hello? Mrs Reed, yes? Oh, bird flu. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There was a moment of panic when Jason thought the baby Holly had escaped. She's gone. Holly, she's gone. Gone? Where? Well, I don't know where. If I knew where, I wouldn't be here, would I? Oh, calm down. What do you mean, she's gone? Holly. Yes? Well, I had her in the house with me. Yes, we know that. What's happened? And I sat there and I must have, you know, dropped off and I woke up and she was gone. Well, what are you saying? She just got up and walked off on her own? Well, no! Well, maybe she jumped on the back of a dog and rode off into the sunset. <laughs> Sat on the shoulders of another baby and called a cab. <laughs> Learned to read, then got a book on how to walk. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> no, it's a shame, because normally Jason is such a sensible dad. He knows all about babies. For instance, how to get them off to sleep and what level of noise they'll tolerate before they'll be woken up again. Back with these weird creatures. Is it still on? Yes. <laughs> they paid him up front. <laughs> this week he was after the four and a half meter long basking shark. And a big shark like that, I would have thought that was easy enough to spot. Not for Nick Baker. Now, if this was David Attenborough, <laughs> he'd have spent months researching the best place to find one, what time of year the most prevalent, and before he started filming, he tracked one for a couple of days, if not weeks. Nick as a slightly different approach. You haven't seen any basking sharks, have you? <laughs> Are you kidding? You're not? Not today, no. no. <laughs> seen a shark, anyone? <laughs> Just sails around on the off chance. <laughs> Hang on. He's found one, hasn't he? Look, we've hardly left Penzance Harbour, and we already have what has to be the second weirdest fish in the world after the basking shark for me. It is the, uh, the a sunfish. <laughs> oh, no, it's a sunfish. <laughs> <laughs> What about over there? Well, that's our consolation prize. We have a grey seal. <laughs> a seal? I thought we were looking for a shark. The otters more than make up for our limited success with the sharks in Scotland. No, they don't. <laughs> I tuned in to see a four and a half metre shark. It's a shark program. If you told me it was a seal and otter program, I wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> We've got kitty weights, we've got herring gulls, we've got black back gulls, we've got uh, gannets. Seagulls? <laughs> You're just filming anything now. I <laughs> here yesterday, it's one of those. That's a dog! <laughs> <laughs> That's Torval. It's not even an animal! <laughs> Look, the sky! Look, the car! Come on, Nick! Having given Plankton this massive build-up now, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. We've only caught about three. <laughs> We've gone from a four-and-a-half-metre shark <laughs> to three Plankton. <laughs> Not exactly very threatening, are they? <laughs> what kind of damage can three Plankton do? <laughs> well, I suppose if two Plankton held it down... <laughs> ..the other one could attack it. <laughs> they could rough up a flea. Or worry a tadpole. <laughs> so what's his conclusion? 
But one thing's for certain, these fish are no respecters of professional qualifications. In fact, the public stand just as much of a chance of seeing one from their deck chair or sitting on the beach. <laughs> Great! Thanks a bunch! <laughs> Another hour of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> it's probably time you went home, isn't it, Nick? When you're in this game, you always expect the unexpected. Look at the... <laughs> <laughs> loves you. Hang on, what's that? <laughs> Pick up your trousers. <laughs> yeah, but... Kepa, you silly I wonder, where, I wonder where he's come from. I think you've been eating something that doesn't agree with you. Nice. We've got a sick ferret. <laughs> a sick ferret. So that's a sunfish, a seal, some seagulls, three plankton and a sick ferret. <laughs> you've got a nerve. Actually, if he'd only driven on a bit further... You always expect the unexpected. There was a basking shark hitchhiking. <laughs> It's Baby Holly off Coronation Street, escaping on the back of a dog. Someone tell Jason. <laughs> no, be fair, because Nick is respecting the basking shark's privacy. I mean, there is a code of conduct to obey. There are clear guidelines about how... Keep four metres away. Yeah, Nick has his own code of conduct. <laughs> All I'd like to keep a million miles away from Nick Baker. <laughs> Unless you're an otter, a seagull, plankton in groups of no greater than three, <laughs> or a sick ferret. <laughs> but which is the better catch, a seagull or a sick ferret? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Fire! Free inside tomorrow's Sunday Express, get volume one of the best of Culture Club, followed by volume two only in next week's Sunday Express. Plus, continuing in your Sunday Express is the offer of a family holiday for just £9.50. All this from your great daily and Sunday Express. Express delivery. Girls in their hair. Talk about problems. Like, see her? She'd need a straight jacket to control that frizz. Hello? Green! And there, she's got more splits than a Vegas divorce court. Ah, uh, yeah, orange! And fluff all you want, honey. Your hair's still as flat as a training bra. Blue! Girls, you need to deal with it, and Sun Silk can help. Sun Silk, get yourself some therapy. Taffy thinks there's something in my bath. He's gone bonkers for the chunks of fish in his bowl. <laughs> but it makes me laugh and laugh when he sniffs round that plug hole. Whiskers oh so fishy with whole chunks of fish. Mmm. Get your thumbs on this smooth and frothy coffee drink. New Dow Egbert's Cafe Switch. This is Lazy Town, the album. All your favourite Lazy Town songs featuring Bing Bang and karaoke versions too. A fun-packed special edition album including a bonus DVD of sing-along videos. Lazy Town, the album. It's out now. It's John Peter's first ever Blue Cross event. Everything with a Blue Cross is marked down with extra savings to rock bottom prices. Don't miss it. There is one sale that gives you it all. Unmissable sofas with fantastic savings. Corner units for less than you can imagine. Designer leather sofas, lower than half price. You get three years free credit, and if you want your sofa payment free for a year, you've got it. Want it all? You'll get it all. In the DFS sale, it ends Sunday, 5 p.m. Follow it. Change it. Trust it. Don't give it away too easily, but put it into everything you do. Get it pumping. 
keep your loved ones close to it. Whether it's cold, warm, or made of stone, take good care of it. It's the most important thing you'll ever own. I'm Sheriff Schofield, and this is my deputy, Willoughby. Howdy. Tonight, dancing on ice goes country. Tall Indians, posse of stars will fight it out in a bit to make it through to next week's show. That's tonight, high noon. It's five past six UK time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh. Welcome back to TV Bird. Becky on curry needs a shave. <laughs> Have a shave, love. <laughs> the Bill Raid Pink Doherty's dressing room at the Brits. <laughs> there was a few more of them, but they'd have ran off or crawled up the wall. <laughs> and we tracked down the last bottle of Jade Goody's perfume to a policewoman on Life on Mars. <laughs> I learned something on casualty this week. Now, I already knew that an electric shock to the chest could restart the heart, but I didn't know it could make you go cross-eyed. <laughs> okay, we have signs of life. Dad! <laughs> I must say, I am enjoying When Will I Be Famous with Graham Norton, which is on the other side at the same time as me. <laughs> And Graham had some health and safety advice for us. This is a very dangerous act. They are highly trained, so please do not attempt anything you're about to see at home. Yeah, you might look at the act and be tempted to copy it at home. So let's have a look at the act. Now, remember, whatever you do, don't try and copy it. Garage. Get that on the phone. I'm going to copy something off. Whatever it's called, you've been famous. <laughs> Safari school now, or celebrity wild at heart, as I call it, <laughs> in which eight celebrities fill their time between jobs. <laughs> I... I did learn a lot from this show about the habits of some of the big game animals. For instance, before Safari school, I wasn't aware that lions like to eat wigs. Yes, to a lion, a man's wig is a much sought-after delicacy. They'll stop at nothing to get at them, as this footage shows. I reckon we changed it 80%. That's a lot. But it needed to. I mean, I saw it in San Francisco. <laughs> Which brings us to our TV highlights of the week. I was surprised to see that Bradley's dad, Max, had had a boob job. Stace. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my favourite meal, and I'm sure you were the same, was Mustati cheese. Remember that? Mustati cheese. Mmm, yum, yum. I wonder whether the kids of today like Mustati cheese. I'll tell you what. Why don't I cook dinner tonight? What do you fancy, girls? Nasty cheese! <laughs> <laughs> they do like Mustetti cheese. <laughs> Jamie Oliver is back with Jamie's chef. And this time he's bought a restaurant for lucky winner, father of two, Aaron, whose first job was to come up with a name for the place. Well, Aaron, what are you going to call it? <laughs> <laughs> 
OK? Let's have your presentation. Now, I've named it Molly Leah after my two daughters, Molly and Leah. <laughs> Sweet! The two children's names, Molly and Leah, forming Molly. -er. I opened a restaurant and called it the name of my two little girls, Sam and Ella. Sam and Ella, I called it. <laughs> Folded after two weeks. <laughs> so, what sort of food is Aaron planning to serve at the new restaurant? Well, it's all about British and Italian. Yeah. So, the food's British with Italian twist. British. And there's a country pub with, an, with a Tuscan twist. Yeah. Yeah, it's British with an Italian twist. So, let's have a look at the menu. Here we are, we've got it here. Uh, it's uh, roast beef with Yorkshire pud, uh, with a sprinkling of parmesan on it. Uh, <laughs> it's chicken nuggets, carbonara. <laughs> Rather nice. And there's, uh, oh, this one, a layer of sausages, layer of batter, layer of sausages, layer of batter. Uh, that's uh, toad in the hole lasagna. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and then, of course, my favourite, uh, mustetti cheese. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the menu sorted, but they need staff. And Aaron and his girlfriend, Nikki, have one main requirement of anyone hoping to work for them. We want people that are really passionate about food. Yeah. That are really, you know, interested and want to... We want passionate people. We want to build, like, a family unit thing going on. So we kind of, you know... <laughs> we need loads of passion. We need yeah, passion. we need lots of passion. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be passionate about food. Do you like food, Beth? I do, yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite yeah. food? Um, pizza, I pizza, think. Pizza, yeah. yeah. And chips. <laughs> pizza and chips, yeah. That's <laughs> British with an Italian twist. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> I felt sorry for poor Nikki. She was having to work in the restaurant and look after the kids. But I do think she was expecting rather a lot of daughter Molly. Look at all that washing that needs to be done. Look at sorry, all that. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> I'm only two. <laughs> It did need some work, though, the pub. The roof needed doing, and what's the best way to replace a roof? Ta, how did it happen? Yeah, Is start by burning it? off the old roof. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tinderbox in there. Look at me, it looks about 70. <laughs> Just pink. Get everyone out of the house, Minnie, because there's a little bit of a fire. That fire really shook up Aaron, though. It really made him think about just how devastating a fire would be. He learned a lot of lessons. He was going to make absolutely sure there was no way another fire could start. That shook me up big time, because I've never experienced anything like that. And you do, you're not just looking after this place and the customers, you've got the family as well. And yourself, but yourself, I come last. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing with this place, I come last. Hi, Harry, it's Aaron from Jamie Chef. A time for this week's occasional poetry competition and a very short but powerful poem on Wild at Heart. Now, let's um, transfer into the animal pen. We'll leave this fella for 24 hours and see what we're dealing with then. <laughs> very moving. By the way, I've got that dish you wanted. It's your favourite. It's British with an Italian twist. Moustachy cheese. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> and now I present a toilet doing a wee. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. This was Kelly Osborne turning Japanese, in which Sharon and Ozzy's little girl finally gets her own show. Her mission was to go to Japan and learn all about the culture. What I don't understand is they can say L and they can say R, but they switch it every time. Like, they call me Kerry. That's because they all think you're Kerry Katona. <laughs> Kelly was then asked to help out a Japanese school, teaching them English. I'm going to sing one of my favourite songs, The Neverending Story. Written on the pages is the answer to a never-ending story. Oh. A never-ending story. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to hear that particular song. But here's <laughs> the educational bit. Kelly sets them a test on the words from Never Ending Story, and you had to be really paying attention to get full marks. A never ending story. 
Now comes the test. Have the children figured out what the missing words were from Kelly's singing? Written on the pages is the answer to the never-ending... <laughs> <laughs> never-ending, yet. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> never-ending... <laughs> no, it's gone. Hey, story. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> Story, that's right. Yeah. Oh. oh, it completely slipped my mind. <laughs> By the way, I haven't made this up. This is an actual show. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, it gets better. Now it's the kids' turn to sing for Kelly. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, but what are they saying? Well, let's have a look at it with subtitles. But at the end of it all, I got the impression the Japanese people had taken rather a dislike to Miss Kelly Osborne. This is... <laughs> they put her in the microwave. <laughs> and cooked her. I wouldn't like being in here if I was a dog. <laughs> well, that's all from us. And to sing us out all the way from Japan, it's the Tokyo School Choir. <laughs> Matarai Shune. What do you say? I think he said see you next week. I did. See you next week. Join us in a couple of minutes for something very special. Dancing on Ice Goes Country. Yes, for one night only, our cowboys and cowgirls will be putting spurs on their skates and having a hoedown in the ring. So grab your partner by the hand and mosey on down to your TV. It's coming up next. Yeah! Zoe, and we'll be coming live from Manchester with Glitter Ball. It's a brand new game show with fabulous prizes to be won by you at home. Fancy a round the world trip? Or would you prefer flights and a ticket to see David Beckham's first match for Galaxy in LA? The entertainment. The excitement. You're invited to have a ball. And enter a brand new world of winning. Glitter Ball starts Monday at 12.30 on ITV1. Ready? More ready than you. <laughs> Art. Science. Beauty. Brains. Passion. The new Clio Renault Sport 197. More flair, more control, more va va -voom. Coffee? Tea? Peter's first ever Blue Cross event. Everything with a Blue Cross is marked down with extra savings to rock bottom prices. Don't miss it. Inside tomorrow's Sunday Express, get your free Culture Club CD. Then complete your double wallet for volume two in next weekend's Sunday Express. Express delivery. Still looking for cheaper car insurance? Haven't you heard? Hastings Direct has been named as the cheapest car insurance provider for 2006. 0800 00 1066
Four out of five people could save on their car insurance by calling Hastings Direct. Why not see how much you could save? They insure motorcycles too. Don't pay too much for your insurance. Call Hastings Direct now. 0800 00 1066. The new Clio range starts at just £7,488, so they aren't going to hang around for long. I, King Henry, have decreed the half-term holidays will now be the half-term holidays! <laughs> so let's party! Everyone's invited! I want action! I want games and prizes! And I'll show you how to be really horrid! <laughs> is for Henry and for Horrid. Hurrah for Henry! The half-term holidays all this week, only on the CITV channel. It's Invasion of the Giant Spiders and it's not pretty. Brand new Primeval on ITV1 after Dancing on Ice. For the best seats in the house, think DFS. Proud sponsors of Dancing on Ice. Last